Ron Misco Electric here at a NASCAR Cup Series event with the ABB number 35 all-electric NASCAR prototype, talking to fans about electrification. Do you think that the power grid is ready for EVs? No, I don't believe that we're fully there yet. I believe if 30 or 40% of America switched tomorrow, we would not be ready. But as this progresses, um, it's a definite alternative driving source to what we have available to us now. I think we can get up there. Um, I think there's probably some exploration and we can continue to grow in that landscape, but I think it's all in the right direction. I think we're, we're moving at a good pace. No, not at all. <laughs> I think we have way too many power outages already, so I don't want to take a chance. It seems like, uh, you know, it's an ever evolving thing, the power grid. Uh, a lot of money goes into it, so, you know, plenty of room for innovation, but it seems like we're ready for the challenge. Uh, yeah, in Australia it is, and here I suppose it is too. There's a lot more renewables coming online, so that makes it even even better than, than using fossil fuels and things like that, so, yeah. Not necessarily, because a lot of people are not aware of EVs, so I don't think a lot of people is ready for it. I happen to not know anything about the power grid or anything related to that, so I would say, I think when the time comes, it'll keep building and it'll keep growing. Hopefully, it'll, it'll be ready for whenever electric cars become a larger presence. I'm not sure about that one. I hope so it is, because, you know, there are more and more EVs on the road. So I'm hoping that, you know, the infrastructure is designed in a way that it can keep up with the rising demand. But I don't know the answer to that one. I think it depends on where you are in the country, but I do think the grid is ready for electric vehicles. Uh, I think we've shown that over the course of the last five, 10 years, and I think that we're only continuing to make strides to make them better. I don't know too much about the power grid, but it seems like people who do have EVs don't have too much trouble getting enough power to charge them, or just houses like in general don't have enough uh, trouble getting powers, at least in most areas. So I think the power grid could handle it, but we'll see. These days, about one in 10 new vehicles sold in the US is electric. As that figure grows, electricity consumption will rise as gasoline consumption is reduced. EVs can be programmed to charge during off-peak hours when available electricity exceeds demand. Increasingly, modern EVs support vehicle-to-grid technology, which allows the energy in the batteries to improve grid stability. That said, it will take a great deal of new hardware, engineer, and installers to prepare the U.S. power grid for EV adoption. I'd love to hear your thoughts on electrification too, so please leave a comment. Until next time, drive, fly, ride. Go electric.